Okay, this is really weird to be filming a video like this, but hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or if this is the first video that you're watching of mine, my name is Rachel. I'm a first year medical student and today I'm here with... Zach. <laughs> this is my classmate, Zach. A Plus Medics sent me a really cool kit and they actually sent me two so we could practice suturing. I've never sutured before. Zach knows how to suture. We're just gonna see how this goes and tell you a little bit about this while also answering some of your guys' questions. So this is how it comes, A Plus Medics Suture Practice Kit. Some suture threads here. Ooh, this is really heavy duty feeling. I like this. Yeah, let's get started, shall we? I have my computer up because um, there is an ebook that we get to look at to teach you how to suture, and then there's HD video guides, which is pretty cool. Parallel to the actual cut itself, wrap around twice for a surgeon's knot. So that is a surgeon's knot by definition. You wrap around twice. Oh my god, this looks pull so the short hard. End and then pull your hands on opposite sides, what? just like that. This looks difficult. Holy you shoot! Old? You want to read? Okay, um, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Um, how do we get started? Okay, so we're using this. What are we using? So first Wait, start doesn't... by driving those the yours? In, uh, towards the other side. Oh. oh boy. And you can use the forceps to help you. Okay. Oh my god. Did I say I wanted to do surgery? Because I'm taking it all back now. This is supposed to be the easy part. How deep? How deep am I going? So wrap around twice for a surgeon's knot. Oh, whoa, whoa. What'd he just do? I did my first knot! So, the videos are actually really helpful. Very informative, which I appreciate since this is my first time actually doing this. So, we're gonna move forward with learning how to do some more stuff, and then we are going to answer some of your guys' questions that I had you ask me on Instagram. Ooh, what inspired you to pursue a career in the medical field? What's that? Me. You. I was a sushi chef, and I really enjoyed working in kind of like a chaotic, fast-paced environment and standing for long periods of time that made me want to be a surgeon and it's nice because I got to practice with dead fish before practicing on living people. What made me want to pursue a career in the medical field? Oh man, I feel like I'm in interviews again. Yeah, I would not use that answer in an interview. <laughs> yeah, I've been like drawn, I wouldn't use my answer in an interview either, but I have always been drawn to um, medicine for some weird reason and just helping people. Is the process of dealing with stress something you can prepare for or you have to learn? To be honest, I did not, ex everyone tells you like, oh yeah, like all the second years, like, oh, medical school is so hard. And they just tell you over and over and over and you don't really know what to expect until you actually endure it and you're like thrown into the fire. I didn't know how to prepare for the stress. You just, it hits you full force, the curriculum, and then you're just, you just have to adapt, which I feel like is medicine and medical school, all of that stuff is just learning how to adapt to those situations that are thrown at you. <laughs> Christelle said, how are you both so awesome? <laughs> hey, Christelle. <laughs> She's one of our classmates. Wait, what's my next step? Wait, what do I do? Oh boy, poor patient. Sorry, patient. Brace yourself. What age did you know that you wanted to be at a doctor? Maybe like 23. Everyone thinks that you have to be like born to be a doctor. Like, no, you're not born like thinking, oh, I want, like, this is what I'm going to do. Some people, yeah. But then it, I feel like it doesn't happen until later where you're just like, this is what I need to do. Yeah, and a lot of people are in love with the idea of being a physician, but the reality of it is very, very different from like what's painted on TV or what people will talk about. So I think just getting a lot of shadowing experience, like one, you need that for applying. It's a really brutal job, and there are a lot of easier ways to make a lot more money. The advice I've always heard is like, if there's anything else on earth you can see yourself doing, do that. <laughs> I would wait until you have no doubts in your mind that that's what you want to do just because it is a commitment and if you're going to start taking out those loans, it's a lifetime commitment. So how long did it take you to prepare for the MCAT? Five or six months, I think. Okay. Did, how much did you study every day? Probably like three or four hours a day. I ended up doing 19 um, practice exams. My like back was against the wall. I knew that everything depended on the score. Um, you only took it once? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
I took the exam twice. You guys know that if you've seen my other videos. I have videos about how I prepared for the MCAT. Um, but if you have to take it again, it's not a big deal. It's a cool obstacle you have to go through to show that you are resilient and to show your persistence, especially to admissions committees. Because if you do better, which I would hope that you do on that second bout, you were given a second chance. I think I'm doing a... Oh. I think I'm doing a decent job. Yeah, it looks really nice. Do you have any social life? Or if not, how does that affect you? Uh, no. <laughs> Do you not have one by choice? That's a better question. Like, if, if having a social life is important to you, and that's the thing that, like, fuels you, you're an extroverted person who enjoys being around people, like, there's definitely the opportunity to still have that in med school. I'd say the friends I've made in med school and the people I've met in med school are some of the coolest people I've ever met. They're all the same kind of crazy that I am. People aren't keep asking about romantic relationships in medical school. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, and we're moving forward. Last question. So we're gonna wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna give a huge thank you to A Plus Medics for um, sending us these kits. We had a fun time. Like I said, I haven't sutured before in my life, so this was a really cool way to start. Um, if you are interested in learning how to suture or you want to practice, um, definitely check out A Plus Medics. I'll have their link down below. And then if I have a code for a discount, that will also be linked down below. Check them out. It's really cool because I think they're one of the only companies that actually has a video feature and showing you how to suture. I'm kind of like a pro now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. Until next time, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, and continue to work hard and all that good stuff. Okay, bye.